Today's collectible spot, we're having a look at the LEGO 71002 LEGO Minifigures Series 11. These are now just recently picked up in retail stores. Spot picked these up at least in retail stores. You get 16 to collect. Series 11. Um, a very, uh, I don't know, a very Christmas uh, color schemed package. Being that you've got the green and of course the red of the Series 11. And even though it's not intended to, the little minifigures that are represented as the dots to the eyes all kind of look like Christmas trees. So I look at this, I kind of get a feel for Christmas. Being the fact that there's also question marks, I also get the feel for the Riddler, but there you go. Spot took the liberty of picking up four instead of three, as he normally does. Spot picked up four. Um, some really interesting ones. These are going to be an interesting collection, Series 11, to start picking up. We've got the Gingerbread Man from, again, looking at the front cover here. We've got Gingerbread Man, some sort of alien. I don't know if that could be a robot. There is a lab woman. Caveman. A Yeti, perhaps. Female robot, which I think we had a male robot already. Policeman with mustache. And then we've got, I guess, some sort of Alp uh, rescue guy. It looks like there's a little Alp logo there. Maybe he helps people who are stranded up in the up in the mountainside. But certainly, uh, you can also check out Lego. Obviously, you can always check out Lego. You can also join the Lego Club at lego.com forward slash club. Let's take a minute only, just a few seconds, just to grab myself a knife. In this case, I've got Old Red. Let's get the first bag opened up. And before ruining it, not only to you guys, but to myself as to what characters are inside, Let's get a better look. Ho! Oh, hold on a second. I already know which ones I want. Oh, this is a nice, interesting mixed bag. We got ourselves, and again, I don't know if the correct names of these, so you guys go a little easy on spot. Um, it looks like we've got some sort of barbarian with knives in hand. The Scarecrow interests me immensely, because I also like the Batman villain, Scarecrow. We've got a girl with pretzel. Is she Swedish? Perhaps? German? Oh boy, this is where the hate will begin. I've got some sort of, well, we've got some sort of army, space army suited guy. We've got an interesting tribal guy with mask. Kind of looks like Kamala. Gingerbread man. Elf. Yeti. Mountain rescue climber, or it could just be a mountain climber. A welder. We've got a lab girl. Lab woman. Looks like Dan Aykroyd from the Blues Brothers. I know that's not who it is. We've got a woman on roller skates with ice cream. We've got a grandmother with cat. We have a policeman with mustache and female robot. This could easily be one of the cooler minifigure sets that I've seen in recent memory. The gingerbread man really interests me as well as the scarecrow. So anyways, let's moving that pamphlet aside, let's find out which ones we actually got. Reaching into the first bag, We've got ourselves the lab assistant, or I shouldn't say lab assistant, the lab female. Got ourselves the base, the lower legs, upper torso, obviously the hair, or the face, sorry, without hair, and then of course adding the hair, like so. Hair, I always seem to have a tough time getting on. I don't know why. I don't know why I have such a tough time getting hair on minifigures. But there you go. Lab woman. Scientist. I'm sure she's making something. She's got some beakers. No, not that not beep, 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 beep. not that beaker. That's Bunsen Honeydew's assistant. But she's got two beakers, each with their own liquid inside. I don't know if you should be mixing the two. Dire consequences would happen maybe if you did that, but Yeah, it's kinda neat. I like the face. That's a really good face and good hair on the minifigure there. So we got the lab woman, or scientist. Put that aside. These from Feelsies all felt like there were different figures inside. I'm hoping, I'm hoping I was right by that assumption. Pulling out the second 
thing. We've already looked at this. We don't need to put that again. And dumping out the bag, we've got ourselves Kamala. No, it's not Kamala, but it's a tribal... I don't know what you would call it. Of course, all of the which you could probably go to lego.com and find out the actual names to these minifigures. An angry native, maybe? Let's zoom in the camera so you guys can follow along. There we go. Some nice artwork on the on his face. He kind of likes looks like Umaga. Lone tear for the passing of Umaga. He comes with a spear, which I'm pretty sure is the exact same spear that they were releasing way back in the 80s with the Knights figures. He comes with a bone, which I guess... Oh, I was right. I was right. Where's the bone? There's the bone. He comes with a hair piece, or hair, that you can clip the bone into. For some reason, Spot's fumbling so much with getting this... There we go. So you can put the bone into his hair, and you can put it on his head like so. This native does not look restless. Anxious, maybe. Maybe not restless, though. Or, you also have the option to put a mask on him. Now, the mask looks like it's a little more of a rubbery piece. Um, I guess you have to take his whole head off. Like so. Because the, there's a little loop on the bottom. I'm going to put that onto his neck. Like so. If you really want to be creepy, you could kind of just leave it as is. And he's just this floating mask. But no, we're going to give him a head. Put the head on. And finally put the... There we go. Sadly, no uh, kimchi, but there's Kamala. I know that's not really Kamala, but you got to be a little native. That's neat. I really like that. Moving the series of bags along, let's go on to bag three, find out which one we got. And it looks like yet another non-copy, non-duplicate, that's good. I like non-duplicates. Got the base, got the legs, and we got the torso. And we got a head. This guy looks really worried. Or he's had a long day at work. A really, really long day at work. I hear you, buddy. I really hear you. He's also got... What does he have here? He's got an... I guess that goes like this. There we go. He's got an... Is that acetylene? A little acetylene torch? Focus camera, please. Thank you. There we go. And uh, let's just put this in his hand. This, I guess, could just go on the side. Like so. And lastly, this is the coolest part. He's kind of got like a welder's head. A little welder's mask. I'm going to put that over his head. Which I think should go... There we go. Just go right on there. That's kind of neat. I like that. I like that a lot. There's the back. Little welder. Just a little welder working away. What's he welding? I have no idea. Maybe he's one of those people that just welds like those weird things. You know you go to flea markets and you always find those weird things that people make. Like maybe he's welding like a pop can. Like one of those air things that blow like a propeller. Maybe he's like making a... Although I don't know if you need welding skills for that. You know what, just forget the whole last thing that Spot was talking about. Oh, and lastly, oh, that's disappointing. The very last bag we got is an actual duplicate. We got the lab woman, or scientist woman. The chemist, maybe chemist is a good word, chemist. I got the chemist, and there's her head right there. Well... At least we got three ones that aren't... Three ones? At least we got three single ones that aren't duplicates. Let's review together and see what we got. We got ourselves a tribal man. Tribal individual with mask. We got ourselves a chemist. Or lab woman. And finally, we got this little welder guy. He's kind of cool. I like him. 
I'm trying to think if we actually have any killers in horror movies that wear welders' uh, helmets. That'd be kind of an interesting idea. I don't know if it would be doable. But there you go. Not bad. Not bad. Based on the fact that I didn't really get the ones I was looking for, Spot's probably going to be picking up more of these. So certainly stick around for more reviews of that. But in the meantime, i got to admit, I'm pretty impressed. Pretty impressed indeed. Today's collectible spot, we're having a look at the LEGO 71002, the LEGO Minifigures Series 11. Certainly stick around, guys. Spot's got more collectible spots heading your way. I'll see you guys next time.